the High Commissioner for Human Rights and the Special Rapporteur on the Right to Food all acknowledged the deleterious effects of the illegal economic sanctions on our country. These are a breach of international law and a compromise Zimbabwe's capacity to implement and achieve sustainable development, especially SDGs 2, 3, 8, 9, and 17. We therefore call on the General Assembly to strongly pronounce itself against these unilateral illegal sanctions on Zimbabwe. Southern African countries are rallying behind Zimbabwe's push for the lifting of what they term an illegal economic embargo imposed by Western countries on Harare, urging that the impact of the sanctions is being felt across the region. Zimbabwe has been under sanctions from the U.S., European Union, the United Kingdom and their allies for the last two decades over alleged human rights violations. Other countries that still maintain a sanctions regime against Zimbabwe include Australia, Canada and New Zealand. Halale contends that the sanctions were imposed as punishment for its land reform program under the late Robert Mugabe that displaced nearly 4,000 white Zimbabwean commercial farmers from the year 2000 onwards. In 2019, Southern African Development Community SADC countries set aside October 25th each year to collectively call for the removal of sanctions against Zimbabwe and this week the region has been sending solidarity messages to Butler's calls for the removal of the embargo. The SADA group of ambassadors and high commissioners in Nairobi, Kenya, in their solidarity message said the sanctions had negatively impacted Zimbabwe's economy. The international community must be made aware that the sanctions against Zimbabwe have severely hindered its economic growth through limited access to international financing trade, negatively affecting the lives of ordinary Zimbabweans. It is our belief that it is only through unity of purpose and corrective advocacy for the lifting of these sanctions that they will be lifted sooner rather than later. The diplomats said Zimbabweans' economic growth was closely linked with that of its Sadak neighbors, which meant that the efforts of the sanctions were felt throughout the region. Zimbabwe's unending economic problems have seen its citizens leaving the country in droves in search for better opportunities in neighboring countries such as South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, Mozambique and Zambia. South Africa's 2022 census report released early this month showed that there were 1.12 million Zimbabweans living in the country constituting 45% of the migrant population. South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa has previously pledged with Western African with Western countries to lift the sanctions against Zimbabwe to stem the flow of illegal immigrants into his country, which has been experiencing xenophobia attacks against foreign nationals. SADAG leaders are expected to hold a vital summit on Wednesday to offer Zimbabwe solidarity. On the other hand, Zimbabwe will com com commemorate the day by holding matches to lobby for the removal of the sanctions. In its last annual review of its embargo in December 2022, where it removed 17 individuals from the sanctions list and added four people as well, two entities, the U.S. said the Zimbabwe sanctions program targets human rights abusers and those who undermine democratic processes or facilitate corruption. Sanctions are not intended to be permanent, but to, insensitive, to incentivize changes in behavior, the U.S. said. 
U.S. sanctions do not target the Zimbabwean people, the country of Zimbabwe or Zimbabwe's banking sector. President Emerson Munangagwa, who came to power six years ago after a military coup that troubled Mr. Mugabe, had made re-engagement with the West his main priority, but he achieved very little in his first term in office. Western countries expressed their frustration over the slow pace of reforms under the 81-year-old ruler's watch and are increasingly alarmed by the intensifying clampdown against government critics through arrests, draconian laws and abductions.